say, man. You got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I got called to the set in Days Confused to do a makeup wardrobe test, which is basically an actor comes in, they're not supposed to work that night, but they come in, go through makeup and wardrobe. When the director has time in between whatever scene they're shooting, the director will come over and have a look. The character can go, yeah, well, you know, go change this, try this. Well, Rick came over and had a look at me. He was like, oh, this is great. This, you look like Wooderson. When you got this, you got the little Black Panther tattoo. I like the pipe, you know, and, uh, Nugent on the T-shirt, the peach pants, cool, cool, girl, all this stuff. And all of a sudden he goes, say, you know, Wooderson's the kind of guy who's been with all the typical hot chicks in high school, the cheerleaders and stuff like that. He goes, you think, you think you'd be interested in a redheaded intellectual? I was like, oh, yeah, man, Wooderson likes all kinds of girls. He goes, well, Marissa Reed Ravisi's playing our redheaded intellectual, and she's over here in the top-notch drive-thru, and she's got kind of her three nerdy friends in the back seat, and, you know, maybe Wooderson would pull up and, you know, try and pick her up. And I said, sure. He goes, want to shoot it? I go, give me 30 minutes. <laughs> I remember taking a walk with myself, going, who's my man? Who's my man? Who's Wooderson? Next thing I know, I'm sitting in my 70 Chevelle, about to shoot the very first scene I've ever done on film. And there's not a scene written. There's nothing written. All I know is I'm going to pull up and go try and pick up the redhead intellectual Marissa Rubisi. And I'm sitting there. I start to get a little anxious. And I start going through my mind. Who's my man? Who's Wooderson? I said, what am I about? And I said, I'm about my car. I said, well, here we go. I'm in my 70 Chevelle. There's one. I said, I'm about rock and roll. I said, Shh, boom. I got Ted Nugent in the 8-track. Rocking. There's two. I said, I'm about getting high. I said, Psh, Slater's riding shotgun, man. He's always got a doobie rolled up. Next thing I know, I hear action. As I hear action. I look down and across the way, where I'm going to pull my car up to, sits Marissa Rubisi, the red-headed intellectual. And in my mind, as I put it in drive, I say, fourth thing I'm about is chicks. I got three out of four going to get the fourth. All right, all right, all right. That's where that came from. First words I ever said on screen. And it was off screen, if you see it in the movie. It's off screen. So it's amazing how that line stuck. It was the first words I ever said on film. It was off screen. It was on a night where I wasn't even supposed to work. Um, but it's also why when people say it today, people go, don't you get tired of people saying, all right, all right, all right. It's like, no. It's a callback to, like I said, what I thought might be a hobby. Three days work as a hobby in my summer of 1992, which turned into a career. So no, it's, it's a compliment that puts a smile on my face every time I hear it, because it is the first words I ever said, and I still like it a lot. Three affirmations of the things that you got. Going to get the fourth. All right, all right, all right.